We're gonna cut straight to the chase. Should you store your coffee in the freezer? Maybe? Let's get into this in a little bit more detail. Talk about when it's good to use the freezer to store coffee and really when it's not. To start with, let's talk about why you might wanna store your coffee in the freezer. Very cold temperatures are great at slowing certain kinds of reactions involved in things going stale. Freezer temperatures slow down oxidation, they prevent the loss of volatile aromatic compounds, they just generally slow the staling process. Now, most domestic freezers don't go cold enough to completely stop that process. I think the research done by a sort of famed coffee scientist, engineer, roaster builder, Mike Sivitz, said that you needed to store coffee at minus 40 that magical temperature where it doesn't matter what units you're talking about. Anyway, most domestic freezers live at about minus 20 degrees Celsius. That's good enough to help slow the process quite dramatically. Freezers, however, have a problem. They are incredibly dry places. At those kind of temperatures, moisture can't stay in the air. It comes out of the air and forms ice crystals. If you've ever owned a freezer, you'll have seen that happen and you'll know that freezers need de-icing. All of that ice, all of that buildup has come from the air. Now, how does that affect coffee? Well, in an ideal world, we, we could put coffee in our freezer and it would slow down the staling and that would be great. What we want to do, however, is really limit the interaction between the coffee beans that are now minus 20 degrees Celsius and, and any kind of air. What you don't want to do is this. You don't want to go and buy a big kilo bag and put the whole bag in the freezer and then every morning, get the bag out, get your coffee out, put the bag back in the freezer. Because all you're gonna do is introduce lots of fresh, humid air into those beans. You're gonna get crystallization of ice on that coffee. That's just bad in every single way possible. So here's your best practice. If you've bought a kilo of coffee, if you've bought a couple pounds, three, five, if you've bought more coffee than you need in the next week or two, then what you wanna do is parcel it out into one to two week sort of quantities and freeze those. Right? You wanna get rid of as much air in whatever you're freezing in as possible, ideally. Now, some people go as far as vacuum packing it. That's a little extreme and I'm a little uncomfortable with the amount of wastage that comes from that. There are certain things that require vacuum packaging and I'm okay with that, but I think vacuum packaging coffee, just the waste is a little bit ugh for me. But it is probably the best possible way to do it. But I wouldn't go so far as to vacuum seal individual portions unless you had a coffee that was incredibly expensive and you were running a very, very, very cold freezer. So you've bought that kilo, you wanna parcel it out to say 250 gram, 300 gram, 350 gram, whatever you prefer, in, into those kind of parcels. You can use freezer approved sort of mason jars if you wanna do that. You could obviously use freezer bags if you want to. Those things are reusable and that thing is good. Or you can just buy three or four individual normal size retail bags and put all but one in the freezer. And then what you wanna do is, is take out a portion the night before you need it. Do not open it and let it defrost overnight. That'll do you fine just on the counter overnight. You don't wanna open it when the beans are that cold because you will get some condensation forming on them. And broadly speaking, that's just not particularly good for coffee. You don't really wanna do that. If you've just bought a regular size retail bag, it's just not worth you freezing that. It's not. Just, just use it over the next couple of weeks and you'll be completely fine. You're not gonna do much to really change the state of that coffee. If the coffee is stale, out of date to begin with, there's no point freezing it nothing good will happen there, nothing bad will happen, but nothing good will happen, so why bother? In summary, if you've got more fresh roasted coffee than you need in the next couple of weeks, take the excess and portion it into one to two week portions, seal them air tight, get rid of as much air as you can and freeze them. And then the night before you need a portion, take it out of the freezer, let it defrost, sealed on the counter, the next morning, grind, drink, enjoy. One more piece of business. Right now, in every video, we're doing a giveaway. It's pretty simple. If you need coffee, if you can't afford coffee and you need coffee, you might've been laid off, you might've been made redundant. I don't know what's happening. The world is a crazy place right now. But if you need coffee and you can't afford it, there's a giveaway below. Click the link, enter. It's free to enter. I'll pick 10 people every video anywhere in the world and I'll send you some coffee if you need it. If you can afford coffee, please just go and buy coffee, support local businesses, do the right thing. But if you can't, it's down there. If you've got questions about freezing, ask them in the comments below. If I didn't cover something, 
Ask it in the comments below. If you've had a very different experience to me, or you've had a, just an experience worth sharing, share it with us down in the comments below. For now, I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.